What's up guys? It's your boy Chris from Chris Chillin' TSR Top Shelf Riders. Today we're gonna be doing a three month review on my 2021 Giant Trance 27.5. I've gotten to take her out on about 15 rides so far and I don't have any complaints. Uh, starting to get real dialed in with the bike, starting to get real sandy with it and real shreddy. Um, but for uh, no further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the bike y'all. Shoo! So here she is, the 2021 Trance 27.5. I got her in a medium sized and this bike only comes in one color wave, which is a pretty slick and clean black on black. Uh, some parts of it's matte, some of it's gloss. It's got a little bit of chrome here for the uh, logos and all that. Let's go ahead and step into the cockpit here, guys. We got a giant contact 760 millimeter uh, handlebar. Put some custom stickers on it for the crew and everything. Nice and wide, nice and comfortable here. Added a, uh, also added a DD stem cap here for a few more horsepower. Hopping over to the saddle here, it's a giant Romero saddle. Nice and slick, nice and comfortable too. Um, one of my favorite upgrades with the bike is the dropper post. My last bike had a quick release, so I was pulling over every few minutes just trying to readjust my seat, which made it so much harder to ride. Uh, you're pretty much playing catch up the whole time. Um, moving along here to the rear suspension, it's got a Maestro floating pivot custom built uh, suspension. Pretty much has a lower and upper rocker arm. Um, it eats up a lot of the trail, so you're just kind of descending real smooth on it. Also comes with the Fox Float DPS uh, rear suspension. I believe it's a 140 mil in the back all around and the front has a 150 mil of travel uh, with this RockShox 35 gold front fork. Pretty nice. I added the Mucky Nuts fender for the muck, Mucky Nuts, mu Muddy Bucks. <laughs> so that should add some type of protection, I guess. Uh, moving along here to the levers and the brakes. These are all Shimano'd out, which is pretty tight, pretty reliable. Um, when I was looking at the bike, it said it was going to come with some Tektro hydraulics, but they did a last minute upgrade and added some Shimano's, which is pretty awesome. The rear, uh, the front and the rear discs are also Shimano. Let's go ahead and walk around here to the mechanics of the bike, taking a look at the cassette and the derailleur. They're both from the uh, Dior system. The cassette here is a 12 by one. Um, which is pretty awesome. This is my first time riding a one by system um, So it took me a little bit of uh, getting used to on the climb, but it's pretty awesome um, One thing I like about this uh, derailleur it comes with a lockout So when you're on some major hardcore descents, you can lock out the derailleur from bouncing out and hitting roots and uh, Causing you to get off the bike pretty awesome here guys um, The hub in the back is also made by Shimano I believe it's called the Shimano Boost. Sounds pretty nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. And on my feet here, I got some uh, Stamp One composite pedals. Um, probably gonna change these out pretty soon, but they get the job done. They're nice and wide, so they try to, you know, try to keep me on the bike as much as possible with no dabs. Taking a look at the tires here, guys. Come stock with some Maxxis High Roller Twos, 2.4 in the back, which is pretty standard. And they got a 2.5 in the front for some extra loam, extra shreddy, extra shreddy stuff. Um, what else am I missing? I believe that's pretty much it on the bike here, guys. Um, so in general, this bike, I believe, is definitely worth it. If you guys are in the mood or in the range of getting a new full suspension, um, definitely look at one of these. For the price and everything, it comes with everything equipped ready to take control of the trail so today i'm just gonna be chilling doing a little tune up on the bike because i got a ride tomorrow in uc santa cruz with the boys one last look here so if you guys have any questions uh any suggestions or tips or anything like that go ahead and feel free to drop them in those boxes below and i'll get back as soon as possible uh pretty open-minded to everything so go ahead and tell me what you guys feel about this and uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe and like See y'all out on the trail, boys. Yee! 